This is the Action Box Cine from Dragonfly Optics and it's got quite a lot of features, but is it necessary? So this is it, the Action Box Cine from Dragonfly Optics. Now this isn't the final version, this is a 3D printed prototype. I'll be getting hold of the finished product once the Kickstarter is all done and successful. So if you want to see a review of the final version, then make sure you subscribe. But the features are going to be the same, if not better, because knowing Ulysses, he's coming up with all kinds of other crazy ideas he's going to add to this before it gets into your hands. You have a screw hole on the bottom as well as the folding down fingers. Now, what is this for, this top flap? Well, have you ever been filming the perfect shot only for it to be ruined by the sunlight causing lens flares. The top flag here stops the light from hitting your lens, which is what causes lens flares. Now that can be from sunlight or any sort of light source. Not only that, it also has this thing here that slides in and then you can rotate the filter that you have on there. So at the moment I've got a CPL filter attached to my camera and um, when I spin that, it affects the angle in which the polarization occurs. So you can really dial in the polarization effect. Inside, the GoPro camera slots in very, very nicely. It also accommodates your different kind of side doors. So this one is one that allows you access into the USB-C port in the side of the camera. But there's more. So we've got two magnets here and this interesting slot that can accommodate something. And it is this set of stackable ND. This has magnets in so it stays closed until you put your finger in and open it. And then these are magnetized into the box. So what are these for? Well, if you're someone that follows the 180 degree rule when you're filming, you'll know that in order to get the correct motion blur, you may need to use ND filters. These simply come out, they're magnetized into the case like so, and then they just slot straight in there and they will not come out. And if you need more ND, you can mix and match the different levels and then add all three if you really have to. On the side with that cold shoe mount, you can slot in your items like a light or with the included pro mic adapter attachment, the pro mic adapter simply slides in here you can connect that in to connect the microphone on the side as well. And uh, if you don't need the flag, as we've said, this slides out so you can get rid of the flag and then you can slot in that cold shoe adapter. So yeah, if you want a vlogging setup that's adaptable and fully featured, this could be your answer. Now, flaws with it. I think it'd be really good if it could incorporate the media mod or somehow have the HDMI port as well because then you're crossing over from a sort of consumer level to something that might be more useful for professionals that need the HDMI feed out which only comes on the media mod at the moment. But yeah, check it out. Uh, the Kickstarter's live right now so look in the links below and if this is the sort of stuff you like to see then definitely subscribe. And as ever, I'll see you on the next one.